Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London, and in this brief tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can record lectures and upload them to Keats without having to really uh, install any other complicated software. This should work from a Windows SOE device as well as a personal laptop or computer, as long as you have access to a microphone, either internal to your laptop or external, or such as a webcam. So, in this tutorial, I'm using Keats, I'm logged on to Keats. Uh, and you can see here on my My Courses page, which is the root page for Keats when you log on, and you can see all of my courses down the middle of the screen here. On the top right hand side where you see your name, click on the little drop down button and click on My Media. You probably didn't know we had this function within Keats, but within Keats there is a video streaming service called My Media, and here it is. You can see I've got some videos already up online on My Media. There are ways of adding media to the My Media section of Keats, and that's through this Add New button. You can either upload a video, so if you've already pre-recorded a video or have a video which you have created in another piece of software like Camtasia or something else, you can upload it directly using the Add New Media Upload function. If you just want to record a chat with you, for instance, being recorded on your webcam, you can click on Express Capture, and this will just capture what your webcam sees and upload that to your My Media account. This could be useful if you want to give people some feedback, for instance, a, a quick feedback session where you tell the students how they've done face-to-face, -face, as it were. If you've got a YouTube link, you can click on that, and it'll link that automatically to the My Media page. But what I want to go through today is this Kaltura Capture option. If you click on Kaltura Capture, your computer will first check whether you've got the Kaltura Capture app installed. And if you haven't, you can download it for Windows or for Mac from this web page. If you're using a King's SOE computer, you can install Kaltura Capture from the Software Center. But if you're a self-managed computer like I have here, you can uh, simply just uh, download and install the Capture app. Once it's installed, rather like with Zoom or Teams meetings, you have to allow the page to access the Capture program, which you click on Allow. And in the background, your computer will load up Kaltura Capture. And there we are. So what we've got is a little floating window. You can see it here in the middle of the screen. I'm just going to leave the website running. Here's the Kaltura Capture screen. You can choose which display you wish to record. I've only got one display connected to this computer, so I'm obviously choosing that display. Or you can choose a selected area. So for instance, if you just want to have your slide presentation on the screen in the center, you can expand or contract this area and have it fill a certain part of the screen, which is quite useful. Next to the screen capture option, there is a camera capture option. I'm and I'm going to select my webcam. There it is, and there's me. So I've now got the camera capturing as well. In the third section, you can choose which audio device you wish to capture from. I've got a number of audio devices, but I'm going to leave my microphone attached as it is there. Once you've confirmed that your capture and the right microphone, you can simply click on the record button. You'll get this lovely little countdown. Right down the bottom of the screen, you'll notice down here, I now have this little hovering box that's telling me that I'm recording everything on the screen. You'll see that this little icon is enabled. This shows I'm recording microphone. And if I click on the little pen icon, I can also annotate my screen. But I'm not going to do that for the moment. Now I can just put whatever I want on the screen and I can navigate through, for instance, my Keats pages and I can demonstrate to students how to access various parts, for instance, of this Keats page. If, for instance, I want to run a presentation, I can simply load PowerPoint, load my presentation, and then this recording, the screen, whatever I've got on the screen, will then be shared in the Kaltura Capture. The interesting thing about Kaltura Capture is whatever you do, it will record so you can edit afterwards and remove the start and maybe the end while you're faffing about loading up your presentation, whatever. If you're clever, you could obviously load your presentation in advance and be ready just to click on the present button and then off you go. 
but I'm not going to run a presentation at the moment. I'm just going to close this software, bring back the web page that I had. And now I've finished my presentation, or maybe I just want to pause it for a few seconds. I click on one of the relevant buttons and finish. Kaltura Capture will ask whether I'm sure I want to stop the recording, and I'm going to say yes, stop it. That the presentation has been captured, and you can see that it's given it a title Kaltura Capture Recording on today's date. I'm going to change this to test recording, change it to demo recording, and type in the word demo as a tag. I can then look through this video, so I can press play, and there you are, you can see me and you can see what I did on the screen running side by side. Very handy. Once you're finished, I can press save and upload. And what it does is it records all the information you've typed in and it uploads it to the website. You can see here, it's starting to upload it. It's uploaded 10%. I'm running from my home broadband. So this may take about 10 minutes or five minutes to upload. So I'm gonna leave this screen recording going and just speed up this part of the video until it's finished uploading. So now the video is completed uploading and you'll see that there is a URL taking you to the Keats website. I could click on this URL right now, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna close this down. Kaltura Capture has finished. If I now go to my My Media site again, you'll notice on the top of the My Media site, there is a new video, and this is the one you've just recorded. And you can hear here, test recording, demo recording, as I called it, and it's currently private. You'll see also there are these little cogs whirling around. That's because it's still processing. Rather like uploading videos to YouTube or Microsoft Streams, the video will sit and process for a few minutes once you've uploaded it. Basically what it's doing is it's transcoding the media into a format that it likes and will stream from the internet. So again, we'll wait a few minutes until it's finished doing that and then come back. Once the file has finished processing, you should be able to access it on your My Media account. We can do this just by clicking on the video. This will load it up into a preview window, and if you want, you can watch your video through. You'll note in the preview window, there are many ways of viewing your video. At the moment, we have the webcam as a feature with the screen as an inset. By clicking on this button, you swap that over. You can also drag the webcam around. If you haven't recorded the webcam, of course, you'll just have the video of your screen on the screen. There are a couple of things you need to now do to this video in order to share it with your students or colleagues. To do this, you click on the Actions button and choose Edit. This loads up the Edit window, and there are some fields you need to fill in on the Details pane in order to publish this video. For instance, you need to say which faculty you're in. This just ensures the video is stored in the right section of Keats. And you also need to say whether this video is subject to any copyright. I'm gonna say yes. If you want to, you can fill in version, language, and location, and any associated department. This is just for tagging. But you also do need to select the date of creation, which is today. Once you've done this, please make sure you press save, otherwise it'll lose all these new settings. It'll take a few seconds to save. And now it's saved, I can choose to share it with my students. If you think the start or end of your video needs editing, you can click on the editor, and within the editor, you can choose to cut the beginning or the end few seconds or minutes out while you're preparing to either give your lecture or record your desktop. If you think the video is okay as it is, you don't need to launch the editor. I'm going to have another video on the functions of the editor, so for the meantime, we're going to move away from the editor and return back to the My Media page. So now we're back on the My Media screen, we want to publish this video. To do that, click in the little box to the left of the video, make sure it's ticked blue, choose Actions and Publish. This will take you to the publishing website. We need to change it from private to published. And then we need to select which gallery this is going to be saved in. This is usually the module in which you wish this video to be accessible. So in this case, I'm gonna choose my module 6BBL0390 Extreme Physiology for the year 2019 to 2020. 
I can scroll down and choose Save. This will take a few seconds, but we'll add this video to that module's media files. This doesn't mean it's accessible to students, but it means it's accessible now to that module. And you'll see here, it's available now to this one module. So we go back. If I update this page, you'll now see that this video has a green light next to it, showing it's been published. So let's go back to my courses. And let's go to that extreme physiology module. I'm going to turn editing on and I'm going to add an activity to the front page. And this activity is going to be a video from Kaltura. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you'll see Kaltura video resource and click on add. You can type in the name and any descriptions. And underneath, you choose to add media. You'll see here your test recording, and we choose select. This will add the test recording to this media entry within this site. It'll take a few seconds to update, but you should see the video appear here. And there we go. Once you're happy, you save and return to course or save and display like any other Keats function. I'm going to hide this from the students, just in case any students are currently online. And then I'm going to switch out of my editing mode. Now you can see demo recording is appearing on the Keats page for this module. And if I click on demo recording, it'll load up the video that we've just uploaded. If I click on play, it'll start playing the video and I can choose to maximize or minimize or show it on full screen. I've also got controls now of how I view the video and I can view it side by side. I can switch them over. I can view it picture in picture and switch them over as well. I've got quite a lot of functionality that I can play with here. Once you're happy with the video, you of course can share it with your students and allow them to watch it embedded on the Keats website. I hope that helps.